Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. Hmm. Today's reaction is to Amber's new vlog. Let's get right into it. Okay, so if you guys remember in one of my last videos, I got the 100 envelope savings challenge for me and my mom and I gave it to her and she freaking loved it and she's so excited to use it. So I said I would explain it to you guys for those who are interested in doing it. So you literally have a hundred little envelopes and they're all numbered. In each envelope, you're gonna put money corresponding with a number. So in number one, you're gonna put $1. And number 62, you're gonna put $52. In number 99, you're gonna put $99. And you're gonna do that at your pace. This could take you three years to fill up or it could take you three months. But once every single envelope is filled up, you're gonna have $5,050 in these envelopes so as you go when you put 51 dollars in envelope 51 you're just gonna mark it off it is moments like this that i realize amberlynn is not smart on top of the book being pretty self-explanatory as it is the in-depth description she's giving is so unnecessary like is that what it took for her to understand the concept or is she just talking shit so the video is 10 minutes long? Like, the explanation could have been 5, 10 seconds max. I have not added any money in here, so I wanted you guys to be with me for the first time that I do. All right, clap if you think she should suffer. So I currently only have 20s. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 120 to my 20 envelope. I was gonna add two more 20s, to like my 40 envelope or maybe even 320s to my 60 but i don't want to get all crazy okay i just want to do the 20 right now all right you guys so let's go to the 20. oh my god this is so exciting like i hate it here i'm gonna murder myself Aww. okay you guys it is the next day i still have not opened my new luggage or anything so I need to do that but like i was sitting here and i was like i never looked on the inside of my new suitcase. And for me, that's important because last time I bought a suitcase, I also made that mistake and I looked on the inside once I got home and it was not my aesthetic. So. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Let's have a look-see together. That was the last time that accent is gonna be on my channel because no. Oh, thank God. It's literally just black. There is writing on it though, probably just the brand. It looks like this, thank God. The zipper works so good, because again, the suitcase that I actually have just is not good. The wheels aren't good, the zippers aren't good. It's not even that cute of a suitcase, like what was I thinking? I also need to find my scissors because this doodad will not come off without one. It's fun. Where did I put my scissors? Let's go on the scissor hunt. By the way, do you guys like my mesh? The spider webs? I think it's so cute. So I just have it on under this like black dress. I love mesh. All right, scissors, scissors, where art thou? Literally found them immediately. So obviously, since I bought luggage, that does mean I am traveling. I haven't like traveled in a hot minute. I'm not even being funny, but I don't even know if she'd fit on two seats in a plane. Like, would she have to buy three? Also, imagining her, like, going down the aisle on the plane, like, could she fit? Like, genuinely, I'm so intrigued about the logistics. I mean, I traveled to get here, obviously, but that wasn't, like, a vacation. That was literally just me coming here to move here, which I don't know if i consider that to be the same thing this is so cute it literally comes with this tiny little bag i don't know if i'll actually use it but adorbs but yeah you know traveling at my size is kind of Ooh. kind of scary but kind of gonna be worth it and i am very excited literally all of this was shoved into this bag and you guys i got so excited when i saw these little bubbly doodads and it's not the ones that pop they don't pop so I don't get the satisfaction. You don't even deserve the satisfaction of bubble wrap. So many people mentioning Nikocado Avocado to me, asking like, when is that gonna be me? Is he gonna be your trainer since you were his dietitian? What do you think of his weight loss? Like, oh my God. So if you don't know the backstory between me and Nikocado Avocado, him and I used to be friends or what I considered friends. Like we would literally text, we would talk about 
personal things in our lives, you know, ask each other advice. It's what I considered a friendship and he wanted to collab with me, asked me multiple times, like this was back 2019, 2020, and I just wasn't ready. I didn't feel like at my best. And it's like, I really liked him. And I was like, I don't want him to meet me like this, especially like 2019 in Berlin, like was hectic. 2020, COVID was happening. I got diagnosed with cancer, like, just a lot was happening. So I would always tell him, yeah, we can collab, but I'm just not ready yet. And I don't know really like what switched in him, but one day like he made a video like insinuating that I lied about cancer. And then from that point on, he would take things that I would do or say like in my YouTube videos and like exaggerate them to like the millionth degree, like pretty much like making fun of me, which I don't mind that. Like humor in that regard, trolling in that regard, it's like whatever to me, like, thank you for finding me that entertaining that you want to like use some of my traits into your videos like thanks i guess the passive aggressive thanks doesn't work because you're not entertaining you're a joke so people are laughing at you not with you it's the part where he insinuated i lied about cancer that's the part where pretty rough like he has a large audience people contacted me thousands of people just whether it be in other YouTube videos, reaction channels, comments on his video, my video, reaction channels, videos, DMs, to me, it doesn't matter. Like there were thousands of people under the impression that I lied about cancer and that's not okay. And a lot of people said it was because of Nikocado Avocado saying that. And if that many people can watch that video and put two and two together, then it's enough to make me be like, wow, that's a pretty shitty thing to do. So regarding his weight loss, I just want to say that I am proud of him. I know losing weight is super hard. I have no idea how he did it. I just knew that he was always pretty smart about things. He knew how to play the YouTube game 100%. And I always knew he was going to do something like this. <laughs> did you really, Amber? Did you really? Guys, it's not Nikki Carter who's one step ahead. It's Amber. She's two steps ahead. Do I like him as a person because of what he did to me? No. Can people change and apologize and move on? Yes. But do I think he's ever going to do that? I have no idea. Like sure, he's different physically, but that doesn't mean he's a different person. I'm always proud of anybody. Like no matter if I like them, dislike them, love them, hate them, whatever. Like I'm proud of anybody improving themselves. But I am curious, how did he do it? How long did it take? Like I low key would love like if he made like a video, like a documentary, documentary, <laughs> a documentary, doc why is that word so weird? I'd love if he made like a documentary of like how he did it and like how he is always two steps ahead and like played the YouTube game. Like that would be, that would be cool to watch. I think there's like a big misconception about like fat people not being proud of other fat people for losing weight. I've never heard of this misconception in my life. Maybe people just think that about you because you're a very bitter person. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, Amberlynn is probably jealous or whatever it may be. But like, no, like I'm like the complete opposite of that. Like I root for other fat people to live their freaking best life. And if that's losing weight and you're doing it, then like I'm proud of you. I'm Amberlynn Reed. Losing weight is freaking hard and I completely like look up to anyone who does it. And it seems like he did it really quickly. And it's just like, okay, what did you do? Tell us more. You can sadly tell that she doesn't mean that question at all. Which is probably good because her girlfriend would not be very happy if she heard her asking such a question. When I went to TJ Maxx the other day, I did not find everything that I was looking for. One of the things was like a hygiene bag for when I travel. So I was actually able to get one off of Amazon. It hasn't gotten here yet. But while I got that, I also got some like containers. This is like to carry my shampoo and conditioner. And then to carry like just things that like are in a big package and I don't feel like having like the whole package. Lotions or like there's a body wash I use where it's like a big container. So I'm just gonna add it to these. These are honestly so cute. I genuinely love the colors and there were so many different colors, but this is just my aesthetic. I mean, you're like, I want stuff with black and gray or I want stuff with pink. Like there's no in between. Because the hygiene bag I got is actually very similar to this. That's why I chose these colors. And honestly, I'm a little sad that this bag is white and this one's black, but it is what it is. So I do want to end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Definitely did not enjoy. <laughs> it was actually pretty hard to commentate on this one, not gonna lie.
But I'm here for the long haul. I'm here for when things get crazy. And I can just tell that whenever they're together, things are gonna get crazy. Let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video if you liked it.